On your screens, you can see Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia addressing a press conference right here in Delhi. Sisodia is set to travel to Ahmedabad today with Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister of Delhi. Uh, remember both of them. All right. I'll allow you to hear what they're saying. I'm going to go to Gujarat. And as in Delhi, in the past 7-8 years, I've worked on the work of the Shikshah, on the Swast, on the Rosegar, on Arvind Kejriwal Ji. I've been able to fight against the people of Delhi in the past 7 years. और जिस तरह से अब पिछले पांच महीने में पंजाब में बहुत तेजी से काम हो रहे हैं उसी क्षेत्र में शिक्षा में स्वास्थ्य में महंगाई से लड़ने में रोजगार में किसानों के लिए उनसे प्रभावित होकर गुजरात की जनता भी अब केजरीवाल जी को एक मौका देना चाहती है और मैं भी आज अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के साथ दो दिन के लिए गुजरात जा रहा हूँ दो दिन गुजरात में अलग अलग जगहों पर रहेंगे और वहाँ भी लोगों से यही अपील करेंगे कि सत्ताईस साल में भारतीय जनता पार्टी गुजरात की जनता के लिए शिक्षा के लिए कुछ नहीं कर पाई स्वास्थ्य के लिए कुछ नहीं कर पाई रोजगार के लिए कुछ नहीं कर पाई वहाँ पे महंगाई से लड़ने में लोगों की कमर टूट गई है उनकी मदद के लिए कुछ नहीं कर पाई अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को एक मौका दें गुजरात के लोग तो पाँच साल में वो करके दिखाएंगे जो गुजरात के लोगों ने भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सत्ताईस साल के शासन में जितना अच्छा काम नहीं देखा होगा इसके लिए हम आज गुजरात जा रहे हैं सर किस तरह से हम देख रहे हैं आपको लगता है कि भारतीय जनता थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू my colleague Rupeshri Nanda now with us from Ahmedabad, which is where the Delhi Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister will be arriving in just a few hours from now. Uh, Rupeshri, we saw the uh, Deputy Chief Minister tell the press that he was going to Gujarat largely to tell the state about the development that him and Arvind Kejriwal had conducted. He didn't really answer any questions about the CBI actions that we've seen over the last weekend. Was this along expected lines? Uh, absolutely. In fact, uh, there is a reason uh, we are told that uh, Manish Sisodia is refraining from answering very specific questions about individuals when it comes to names or, uh, you know, uh, specific uh, tra transactions. It is because uh, every uh, word of his, is, uh, he believes, is being monitored by investigative agencies and it can go either way against him uh, or for him in the court of law, so, which is why he's very careful when it comes uh, to talking about uh, uh, the excise policy in detail. Apart from the points that he's absolutely uh, confident about and apart from the points that he's uh, very clear uh, that uh, he is uh, he he's not on a weak wicket. Now, see, look at the tweet that uh, Arvind Kejriwal has just put out. He said, Rupiya pit raha hai, janta mehengai se pareshan hai, berozgar ye asman chhu raha hai, aur ye CBI ED khel khel rahe hai. Desh bhar mein janta ki chuni hui sarkar girane mein vyast hai, sara din gali galoj karte hai. Log... अपनी तकलीफें किसको बताएं, किसको किसके पास जाएं, ऐसे देश कैसे तरक्की करेगा? So essentially, Arvind Kejriwal also making the point that Manish Sisodia made just a short while ago, in the sense trying to make the point that this is not a personal battle, this is a political battle, and Aam Aadmi Party or Arvind Kejriwal himself or Manish Sisodia himself can give a better alternative. Uh, to Gujarat and uh, and uh, to the country. You heard what Manish Sisodia said. He said 27 years have passed by and according to them, Gujarat has not seen any the kind of development it should have in the sectors of health and education. And those are the kind, that is the kind of work that they're going to uh, promise here in Gujarat. And remember, uh, as I've been pointing out ever since Punjab elections, Gujarat is going to be the key focus for the Aam Aadmi Party and, and Aam Aadmi Party Chief Arvind Kejriwal. And it is here that he's going to try and make a dent uh, uh, both uh, both the Congress and the BJP. Uh, remember, Gujarat always has had a bipolar contest between the Congress and the BJP. But with the entry of the Aam Aadmi Party, it remains to be seen whether the Aam Aadmi Party can make this uh, contest into a triangular one. And also remember that this is uh, probably the sixth time that Arvind Kejriwal is visiting Gujarat just in the month of August. Uh, so that is the kind of intense focus that Aam Aadmi Party Chief Arvind Kejriwal has in Gujarat. <coughs> In a short while from now, we are told that he's going to, uh, he and uh, Manish Isodhi are going to land in Ahmedabad at 1 p.m. From there, they're going to proceed uh, to another uh, location, of a particular hotel from where, where the press conference is going to be held at 2 p.m. And very importantly, Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia are going to address that presser jointly. Now, this is also significant, but because this is the first time that both of them will be, uh, you know, seen addressing the people together, 
uh, after the CBI raids on Manish Sisodia. After that, they are going to go to Himatnagar, where we are told that there will be a town hall where, uh, again, uh, Arvind Kejwal and Manish Sisodia are going to announce what they call guarantees or election, uh, they're, they're essentially their poll uh, calling card in the elections uh, in, in the month of December. And tomorrow we are being told that uh, both of them are going to visit Bhavnagar. Now, why Bhavnagar is important is because it is the epicenter of the Gujarat liquor tragedy. And that is where perhaps, uh, you know, uh, Manish Sisodia is and Arvind Kejriwal are going to make the pitch again and again that this CBI or ED raid uh, against uh, the Delhi government or the Delhi uh, uh, Deputy Chief Minister is not really about corruption because had it been about corruption, then why such uh, things have not uh, taken place or unfolded in Gujarat where actually many people have lost their lives. So that is the push that the Army Party is making. On the other hand, Aam Army Party leaders are very aware also uh, that, uh, you know, investigative agencies uh, like the CBI or the ED uh, can, uh, you know, can, uh, can actually soup on them uh, at, uh, at any point in time. And, and therefore, the other strategy is also uh, in place as to who is going to fight the case if it goes to the court. Uh, who are the people who are going to be, uh, you know, probably given additional responsibilities? Uh, how are they going to handle uh, this, uh, the whole issue politically? Uh, how are they going to handle this issue administratively? So all kind of, uh, all kind of, uh, you know, strategizing is happening. Uh, all the leaders are conscious of the fact that this is not a very great time for the Ahmadi Party when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, doing their work. Or, or and, and Ahmadi Party is also acutely aware. Uh, that it's anti-corruption plank, uh, the plank that uh, actually it, uh, that uh, that brought it to power, is also under threat with this onslaught of uh, attack uh, by especially by the uh, BJP, as you saw uh, happening over the past uh, few days in Delhi. Okay, Rupeshree, thank you for the context. Now we'll go over to my colleague Arun Dhanta, who is with us.